So this is Kim to me back to update you guys on my husband and his uh, heart attack. Yeah, one of three heart attacks he's had since I left him. And again, this just goes back to show you my phone is whack. So please forgive it because it is, I'm just being honest, it's super whack. But anyway, this is a picture of my husband. Um, yeah, his name is Robert. He goes by Tank. He goes by Little Man. And he needs to go by Bull, but I ain't going to say that. I'm trying to be nice here, as nice as I can be. But anywho, I'm about to let you guys see the audio. I'm sorry, hear the audio. I guess it would be seeing it because you will be seeing it too. But anywho, uh, I'm going to set it up for you. Um, basically, I left my husband uh, some months ago. And um, he's refused to pay me any money. He's, repay he's refused to pay any bills. Being an idiot. Lied about a whole bunch of stuff, about having a job, about having cancer twice, um, now three heart attacks. I mean, this has been so much, y'all. It's just, like, ridiculous. This man has put me in so much debt. It's crazy. He's a, a sociopath. So I'm writing a book about that. It's called Happily Married My Ass. Uh-huh. Yeah, stay tuned. And then also, I have a GoFundMe page uh, entitled, I Gave Him the Wrong Finger. Just for those people that don't mind giving five dollars, two dollars, a dollar, ten dollars, whatever, just to help a sister out while she's going through this transition of BS that was unnecessary. But on to the next. I'm gonna let you guys listen to this this audio. And basically, what it is, he's saying that he's had a heart attack. And actually, this is the second heart attack he's had in one day. <laughs> right, second one. And of course, at this time, I'm tired of I'm tired of him. I don't want to answer my phone. I have nothing to say to him because he's a liar. That's all he does is lie. He wakes up a lion. That's what sociopaths do. And also, um, what he's decided to do is that he's decided to say he's at the hospital. He's they said he's saying that they told him that he had a heart attack, but yet he's on the phone. And you know, like I do, when you're at the hospital, you cannot have your phone. Number one, especially if you've had a heart attack, they're gonna take that from you. So not only is he on the phone, but he's on the phone uh, blaming me, of course, because uh, I'm the one that's crazy. Okay. And also, um, I'm the devil because I don't want to hear none of his shenanigans. And um, also, um, he prays for me. That's a part of it, too. So he's got a lot of time on his hands to be uh, in the hospital. So if you see a green-eyed black man out there named Robert on any level, Davis, Honey child, run, 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 run. I don't wish this on nobody. So anyway, I'm about to show you guys the audio that uh, I have. And um, hold on a second where I got it at. And then we'll go from here. Um, Yeah, hold on. Saved message. Yeah, I made it to the hospital. I'm saying I'm having a, a heart attack. I'm wrong my heart right now. It's so crazy. That, that's what it is. And they need to tell you to get information from you, but you're not picking up your phone. And I'm not even calling my family because I'm, I'm good with them. I'd rather deal with my situation by myself. So it's funny that uh, when I'm finally going through a whole lot, it's only a test that what I'm going through. And you turn your back on me. No man that you meet, no woman that you meet is more important than your husband. So since you don't want to call and pray with me or for me, I'm going to pray for you while I'm sick. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, Lord God, Jehovah, and the power of the Holy Spirit, that he let the, him, my wife, let the devil run her, and he won. So I just ask you to release her from him, to bring her back to me when my time in need. Open her eyes up and let her know that I really do love her. Mm. And I understand that you have moved on. Amen. But all I ask for one request, to bring her back, to let her know how much I love her. Hell and no. go on have to leave today or tomorrow or the next day. You can always hold on to this, this prayer, this message. <laughs> and know, <laughs> wherever you lay your head, I hope it's a good place for you. And... I just need you to be happy mm. and not hurt other people while you're trying to be happy. Because I've never done you nothing so bad that you can be happy. I just ask you, Lord God, Jehovah, to help her. To lift her up. Mm -hmm. 
And whatever situation he was in, he can't get it out. She, she's in. What? <laughs> Bless her heart. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. So anyway, yeah, so you heard it for yourself, him saying that he had a heart attack. And again, this is heart attack number two. He had heart attack number two in one day. Yeah, the first heart attack, he got busted in somebody's front yard drinking beer after he called his grandmother and told his grandmother he had a heart attack and he was on his way to the hospital. This is nothing this dude won't do to embarrass himself, embarrass his family, make his family look stupid. It's just a shame. So again, this is Kim Toomey signing off. I'm about to upload this video. Please feel free to comment. Your comments don't hurt my feelings. Because at the end of the day, I'm hoping I, I get somebody to understand that it's not cool to, to live this kind of lifestyle. But more importantly, let women know, and even men, what sociopaths do and the symptoms of a sociopath is that they have no conscience, pretty much. They don't worry about nothing. They don't have no anxiety. They don't care about anything. Like, they laugh with no benefit. So, look up sociopath and, and learn something. And that way it can keep you from a whole bunch of heartache. I wish I would have known because Lord knows I would have been gone a long time ago. You guys have a great day. Okay? Bye.